Hey everyone, it's Josh, Jay Vintage Honda Minis. Uh, this build series, we're going to go through a uh, swap out, uh, use a life in style engine. That's actually a um, front clutched bike, basically pretty much a clone of the original Honda horizontal engineer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead with a swap out of the 6 volt original Honda engine and put in the uh, 12 volt life in. 125cc engine that's got the uh, clutch arm and same internal so to speak setup as this uh, engine. Uh, I'll show you where I'm going to get the engine from. I'll show you the uh, parts that we're going to use to make the swap. I'm going to use a sub harness. We'll go to T um, Trail Buddy which is a company out of Michigan. Uh, they got a lot of parts. You can uh, array of parts for all these uh, Z50, CT70 and, and such. Um, so we're going to support them, get their sub harness and a couple parts probably. Uh, I'm going to take the, um, this is not an original pipe, so I'm going to go ahead, and, actually I'm sorry, this is an original pipe, but we're going to go ahead and uh, swap this one out for uh, a Trail Buddy uh, bigger bore pipe that looks, you know, like the Chinese pipes, but apparently they have their own uh, tooling and uh, specifications that they, uh, it flows better. It's probably a bigger diameter uh, pipe and uh, freer flowing muffler area. So we'll go ahead and take get that pipe to uh, put in with the 125 cc. Uh, I'm going to show you about like the battery, all the little little parts that we need to uh, purchase and swap out to make this swap uh, functional. Uh, the approach that I'm going to use on this bike is use the six fold OEM harness setup uh, and then use that sub harness from Trail Buddy uh, and basically interface with the OEM harness, leave it in place and install the engine so that they both will work together and then you'll get all functionality. Uh, you'll be able to use your original switches, um, horn button, high low beam and such. Uh, so all right well first thing we'll do is um, I think I'll kind of walk around the bike show you kind of the things that we will be swapping then we'll jump on the computer and uh, start picking our parts and make the orders uh, for all the things we need to get this swap done. So we're looking at the OEM engine in place here on this H model 4 speed and uh, see how it has the clutch on it, the, the uh, manual clutch arm. So the Lifen engine is going to have the same design front clutch lever. Um, since I am going to put the bigger bore pipe on here uh, I might have some clearance issues in this area because that pipe is probably bent just a little bit differently so I'm not sure if the heat shields will clear. We're going to try our best to make sure we can put everything back on. I might have to pull the heat shield from the aftermarket pipe to clear in between this area that gets pretty tight. Uh, we're going to use their carb that comes with the kit or I might upgrade it with a McCuny. Uh, but the uh, Chinese engines, import engines, come with a canted intake pipe so you'll have the carb sticking out uh, off to the side a little bit um, unless you fabricate or get a manifold that allows for a straight run to use the air box but we're just going to go with the kit style I'll probably use a smaller foam filter to make it look not so out of place uh, under here all we need to really do on the bike is this is a six volt uh, acid filled battery we're going to turn this, uh, swap this out for a 12 volt uh, battery to work with the life and engines uh, electrical setup. So we're going to swap that out. Um, you know, all we have to do in the back is swap the bulbs. We're going to put 12 volt bulbs instead of the 6 volt that are in here. Same thing in that speedometer that's got little bulbs that are 6 volt. So we'll swap those out. And then our headlight, we'll put a 12 volt bulb. But that's pretty much all you need to do as far as the swapping of the OEM setup. And then, uh, of course, when I pull this engine, we're going to put our sub harness that will interface from the life in 12 volt engine to the existing OEM harness. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that put up in there. The coil is a six volt high tension coil here in the original bike you're going to use the coil that comes with the 12 volt light uh 12 volt life and engine uh so we'll swap that out while we have the engine dropped but uh the way that i'm doing this is not altering the bike drastically as you see we're just making some 
um, kind of just plug and play changes. So the, their owner's gonna keep this engine on the shelf, but we're not drastically changing the bike uh, from a not going back standpoint. So you can swap this stuff back over. Uh, we're leaving, again, like the original harness and all that stuff in place. So it's not too crazy uh, to make these changes and then um, swap it back if you ever want to, or if you're down the road, you sell your bike. You know, it's not, it's not too much of a hindrance to get things swapped back or explain that to the new buyer. The other area that we'll double check is the uh, life in engines. So you may have to put a little spacer on these foot pegs to drop it down just a little bit. Maybe not. Uh, it's been a while since I actually did a 125, so I can't remember the details on that area. But uh, we may need to address uh, some clearance issues with the original foot pegs, uh, and that's usually uh, keep, you know easily done with just a little bit of a spacer to drop it down, so it can clear some of the casing areas on the. Uh, import engine. We're also going to do uh, sprockets uh, since we have some more horsepower and torque on the aftermarket engine. Uh, we'll make some changes to uh, utilize that uh, useful power that you're going to get out of the 125. So I'll make some uh, changes to the rear sprocket and the engine's front sprocket. Uh, as far as like the throttle and the clutch areas, get the clutch lever over here and then uh, the thr twist throttle. We will use the OEM parts. So I'll make sure that uh, we make the proper adjustments to make this uh, the th internal throttle cable work with the uh, aftermarket carb. And then the clutch cable should work just fine with, again, you're going to put a front clutch arm engine in there. So we're not changing the length of the uh, clutch cable needed. So we'll be able to keep the OEM handlebar uh, handlebars and perches and uh, throttle controls in place. So one last thing that we're altering also. All right, so let's do our shopping for the parts. I'm gonna show you where I'm getting everything. Um, trying to try to get majority of stuff through Trail Buddy, but some stuff's out of stock right now. There's some, uh, this is December, November-ish, end of the quarter for uh, 2021. Uh, as we know, there's a lot of supply chain issues going on, but so we're looking at my cart. Uh, I got a bunch of incidentals in here to help with the uh, swap out. But the main thing that we're gonna uh, focus on here are the uh, that custom tandem harness. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at that. This is at uh, mytrailbuddystore.com. Again, those guys are based out of Michigan, Zealand, Michigan. Uh, so this harness is gonna interface from uh, in between the engines. Uh, stator harness connector you're gonna plug this in and then you plug in the tandem harness here into the OEM existing harness so when you select it you want to make sure you get it for the you know we're doing the 125 ish style life in style engine uh, so make sure you select the life in add that to your cart the other thing is I'm using their uh, bigger bore exhaust system call it the Thumper 2. I'm, they have an option right now that they have some blem, blemished uh, pipes, so we're going to go ahead with that one just to save a few bucks. Uh, so I added that to the cart. I'll uh, open it up and we'll look and see kind of what the blemish means, but that's the one I chose. Uh, I'm getting a 420 chain, so you want to get, uh, I think it's like anything over like 96 links will be fine for a CT70. I, this one's a 120 that they offer, but I'm gonna get the RK uh, heavy duty chain. Just so you know, every chain's gonna stretch, but this is gonna be a much better chain than the cheapo chains. But 420 is the uh, chain pitch or sizing. Uh, I'm gonna get the 12 volt bulbs from them. Uh, so get your headlight bulb and your tail light bulb and the um, speedometer bulbs. They're out of the speedometer bulbs right now, so I'm gonna have to buy those on Amazon. I'm getting a fuel hose, 3 16 might as well replace that. Uh, you do want to consider, since the CT70 gas tank is a uh, regular port and a reserve port on the tank, so you have two fuel lines run into the OEM carb that has two, two inlet uh, nipples. Uh, we're going with aftermarket carbs, uh, and those come with in a non-traditional CT70 carb, more of a high performance carb that's going to come in this engine kit. Um, that's going to only have one inlet to allow fuel into it, so we got to 
make some changes there. We're gonna, you can either go with a three way petcock, which is gonna take the two fuel lines from the fuel tank and then convert it into one outlet port at the petcock to the carb, or you can actually uh, close off, you know, the, the main uh, nipple on the tank and then only use the reserve uh, nipple from the tank and just run one fuel line to the carb. Either way, your choice, but you need to figure that out. Uh, I'm also putting sprockets on this bike, so I'm gonna. I, a lot of these, again, supply chain issues. I have a 33 tooth on the shelf I've had for a while, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one, but it's kind of hard to find anything that's abnormal, not standard sizes for these bikes. Uh, so pretty much all these retailers, they have 35 tooth uh, sprockets, but not really anything below that. Um, but your option is you can get a JT rear sprocket, 35 tooth, again, 420 uh, rear sprocket. The, I'm trying to think real quick. Uh, so when you change sprockets, the front tooth sprocket versus the rear tooth count sprocket when you change one tooth on the front sprocket it's like changing three on the back so to speak it's a rule of thumb so if you can only get a 35 tooth sprocket uh, you're fine uh, with you know like a 17 tooth uh, front sprocket I mean you're gonna have a pretty uh, middle of the road setup for um, you know this 125 engine so but I'm gonna do 33 tooth rear since I have it and a 17 tooth front I mean, I get a little seat exhaust gasket because I'm not sure if that muffler comes with the gasket. You'll want to replace your crush gasket in there on the cylinder head and uh, probably incorporate just the fuel filter to uh, make sure things aren't getting into the carb. So we'll move on to uh, the Amazon purchases. This is where I'm actually buying the engine from. I checked eBay. See, 125s are pretty much in stock across the board. Uh, they're probably the largest um, uh, high run engine option right now because they're just the basically the, the uh, typical engine that you'll find the 140s 190s 212s all those other bigger bore engines are uh, really in and out of stock and hard to get right now uh, due to all the supply chain issues but the 125 seem to be readily available but price checking eBay versus Amazon Amazon the seller that I'm using is uh, considerably less expensive than what the eBay options are at this point. So this one's 279 and you'll have to pay tax. Uh, but it does come with a carb, intake manifold, all your electronics, CDI, high tension coil, uh, all the little parts that you need to get the engine up and running. I'm not buying the front sprocket just yet because I can't find any uh, mention of what the spline size is. So standard engine Honda engine, Z50, CT70, SL, XL, ETC, they all have a 17 millimeter output shaft spline size. Uh, this one can be a 20 millimeter or a 17 millimeter. I'm not sure yet, so I'm gonna hold off till I get the engine to verify that size of the output shaft before I order the uh, front sprocket. Uh, the other thing, uh, Trail Buddy was out of the um, little bulbs you can put in the speedometer so I'm going to order these from Amazon these are 12 volt bulbs that we need to convert over for the speedometer for $7.99 and the other option or the other thing I'm throwing in there is we need to uh, swap our battery around we don't need a battery really we don't have an electric start engine so you don't need any large amp hours this battery is just in, in line to help uh, basically regulate uh, it's got a re voltage regulator built into the uh, um, rectifier regulator for the 12 volt setup but this is just in line to help support uh, the electrical side of things and um, so those are the three items from Amazon again uh, Trail Buddy sells the three-way petcock but again they're they're out of stock on it it's back ordered uh, you can get one on eBay from a company you know that is out of I think they're out of California PCC motor I've used this petcock uh, many times in the past but theirs is only seven dollars on eBay so go ahead and order one of those might as well order two just in case yours fails down the road you'll have another one on the shelf ready to swap out um, but that should be pretty much it to get going on the swap I'm gonna put all this stuff in on order and then we'll open it up and kind of look at it I'm curious to see what the exhaust the blemished exhaust looks like probably really nothing 
noticeable so uh, we'll review that and if it actually looks to be very minor and perceivable then that's the best option for um, their what they're selling right now I guess if they still have blemished options save yourself 20 or 30 bucks We got our order from Trail Buddy out of Michigan and the engine showed up. So uh, from Amazon, the engine seller only took uh, took less than a week. Uh, and then the same thing with Trail Buddy. So it was pretty quick delivery to get these parts all to the, to the uh, shop. And um, now we'll open it up and take a look and see what we got. So this Trail Buddy package, this is their exhaust. They put a big disclaimer on here that I bought a scratch and dent item. Uh, no returns period on it but we're talking exhaust here how bad can it be all right let's take a look at it no perceivable blemish on this pipe period I don't know I don't really know what they're claiming to be blemmed but I don't have anything no dents no nothing that's like major at all so I'm not sure what their blem is so good deal save some money and I got something I would have never even known was considered a blem and I think Josie approves. Hey, Josie. Hey. Some information on the, this is the trail body thumper, big bore exhaust. This is a $65, $55 eBay ZT70 exhaust. So they're basically uh, exact same mid pipe, header pipe diameter. Nothing different between the two, as far as that goes. Um, they both have this like somewhat kinked radius here. The diameter internally is the same between the two pipes. Where they differ is this is basically hollowed out inside of the muffler. There is a little baffle inside it, um, but it doesn't have nearly the restriction at the muffler side of things like this one has a very um, pretty narrow diameter pipe much more narrow than the header mid pipe diameter and I can see that it like twists and turns if I put a light down in there and uh, if, when you're holding both of these the heft of this muffler with the baffling in, in it is considerably noticeable so this one's been cleared out quite a bit um, but <clears throat> That makes me wonder if I cut one of these open, what I would do to it to replicate that. But for easy button, buy this pipe. But it appears, you know, these are the pipes that are coming out of the same factory, most likely, and just having less parts welded internally on this one. <laughs> Box is open, engine's out in front of us. You can have a little bit of uh, some oil on it. That's typical to just have this like assembly oil, uh, shipping oil of some form. Uh, We'll go through the process of getting this initially set up to install, uh, but for now we'll just look through everything that came. Um, this is a PZ16 carb that they put in the package, uh, which is a pretty small carb. So I might consider changing that. I might run it as it is, but change it. Um, so everything's here in the package. The thing I do note is that their sticker up here is a one down, three up transmission. Uh, where they know where they were listing it as a four up transmission So that was a little different than expected not a big deal though, and then I put a caliper uh, On this this is a 17 millimeter shaft, so we'll want to Go after a 17 millimeter 420 17 tooth front sprocket uh, This comes with a 428 sprocket on it, so we are not using a 428 chain, so this is going to be removed and replaced um, But that's it for this video uh, next video. I'm gonna work through um, You know, we'll do the removal get this thing uh, Starting to tear it down and get this guy installed. We'll go through all the steps of setting the valves We're gonna get the old crappy oil out of there. We're never we're not gonna run this engine with the oil it came with and get that swapped out and do all the little things necessary to get this uh, engine set up to fire over and we'll get it installed do the wiring uh, and do all those little changes so uh, this first video is just to get all the parts to you and then uh, we'll work through the details uh, in the next couple of videos in this series all right please subscribe uh, if you don't I appreciate it and uh, we'll get some more videos up soon